Hello, good morning folks, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 15th of August 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signals, signals and market updates from leading providers, so you can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the uh, Apple's App Store at tradesignal.com. Okay, now in terms of this morning's price action, it certainly has been... Uh, um, shall we say, lacklustre to, to, uh, to a large extent, given the fact that uh, we are on a potential holiday today. You have uh, Ireland, uh, Spain, uh, you have um, uh, the France as well to a large extent, certainly on Assumption Day. Uh, apparently India has some sort of Independence Day holiday. So certainly uh, we are on holiday to a large extent and the volumes have been, um, are, are expected to be low, okay, uh, according to Rand's Quark as well. Asian equities, FX markets ready to be muted overnight. Okay. Volumes, um, certainly no tier one releases. Volumes of Europe likely to be suppressed due to the Assumption Day holiday. Not too sure what this Assumption Day holiday is, but yes, certainly a holiday, and therefore uh, will be restricted to a large extent. Now let's try and decipher as to uh, where these markets are going. Now in terms of economic uh, news overnight, really was the major talking point. Okay, we had China higher due to this potential Shenzhen link, okay, so Shanghai higher by 2.4%, pretty impressive, Hang Seng up 0.7%, but we had the Nikkei lower, and that's due to weaker GDP, and the fact that uh, QE certainly isn't working, I mean, we have 0%, QD, GDP was expected at 0.2, came at 0, it's not exactly uh, good news, given the fact that uh, we are pumping this market with such uh, liquidity, it certainly isn't working at present, and therefore the opponents of that certainly will uh, start to uh, increase their rhetoric. So again, it uh, certainly does uh, question this uh, concept of QE being utilized and applied to the markets. Okay, now let's try and break this market down from a technical perspective, folks. Okay, let's just bring up the chart of the uh, Nikkei and the Shanghai. As you can see here, the Shanghai impressive thrust higher, certainly is breaking higher. Okay, uh, again, uh, was it due to organic growth? Was it due to QE? Uh, front running was it due to uh, this potential Shenzhen link? Really, it was more isolated towards the Shenzhen link. Okay, uh, now looking at the Nikkei, Nikkei back into that potential gap fill resistance. Okay, so we're certainly stuck here, folks. Okay, uh, now the after hours price on the uh, Nikkei, let's just have a look here on the Nikkei. The Shanghai certainly has started to move south after hours. We've had the uh, Shenzhen or the Hong Kong share certainly into resistance. Nikkei 1687. So you're still back at that uh, potential gap fill resistance. You have the 200 MA at 17238. So again, be aware of that. Okay, so again, looking at potential unfill gap below. Weaker GDP will certainly be hurting the uh, ability of European stocks to certainly export or European companies to export abroad, given the weaker growth. Okay, so again, looking for concerns there from Japan. Uh, USD JPY as well certainly has reacted to a large extent back at 101. Okay, that certainly isn't good news. Uh, although the link recently has broken down, so bear that in mind. You can, you can clearly see the uh, the actual sell off on the USD JPY as that potential news broke as well. It's considered to be potential risk off. Okay, right. Uh, in terms of European markets, uh, we certainly have a HNS formation on the German DAX at the moment, so bear that in mind. The daily chart, German DAX is putting in a potential topping tail, folks, as you can see here, uh, a massive topping tail. So again, indicating weakness, that gap level certainly is holding, okay, um, on the German DAX, okay. So again, you do have resistance above, so bear that in mind. Your next potential resistance is 10.850. I'm not expecting that to be potentially to be hit. Uh, now, you had this uh, rising contracting wedge pattern. It certainly has been negated for now. You're testing the uh, two, the testing the sorry, the uh, pivot R3 resistance on the German DAX. Now, if you take the pivot high, just connect it across, and you clearly see that we are holding that uh, key resistance zone, okay? So, all we're doing here now, really, is connecting the pivot lows together, and you're in this rising uh, bullish channel, again, with the ver with, with the potential danger of it breaking down. The 10 minute chart, uh, again, tells another story from my perspective. You are looking at HNS formation, looking for weakness, folks, from my uh, understanding, and you are looking for a break lower. The HNS certainly is in motion, so watch out for weakness, okay? And that's confirmed with the weakness on the Nasdaq, and I'll explain the US analysis later on. Confirming this with the MDAX 50, so again, MDAX 50 certainly does look like more of a HNS formation to me as well, folks. Okay, so no real concerted move to test those previous highs. Certainly is indicating weakness to me, okay? Just delete these uh, trend lines for now. Okay, so again, watch out for that. Okay, so you have, if you take the pivot low across, 
certainly has been distorted so i'm not utilizing that for now uh, the daily chart again you have broken out <clears throat> but certainly putting in a potential a bearish candle looking at the tech all share again you're into that resistance okay folks so previous resistance equal support and you are certainly finding weakness there as well on the german tax Moving on to the French CAC now, let's just go to the daily chart first and foremost, okay, so daily chart, you can clearly see putting in a massive uh, topping tail, okay, Dragonfly, Doji, etc, call it what you want, but certainly has been rejected, 60 minute chart as well, you can see the bullish getting gold for bullish candle, certainly has been rejected as well, certainly indicating immense weakness to me, okay, uh, the French CAC at the moment, certainly not looking good, uh, we obviously broke out, and we've actually uh, gone below the actual breakout level as well. So 10 minute chart certainly isn't healthy price action at all, folks. Certainly is indicating weakness from my perspective. OK, going into the US session. OK, folks. So again, weakness on the French CAC as well. FTSE 100, let's bring this up for you. FTSE 100 daily chart at the moment. Doji candle thus far. Really is in no man's land. Having said that, the next potential resistance is seen at 6980. So bear that in mind as well. Looking at a 60 minute chart, the FTSE, the higher high, wasn't as significant. So, again, certainly is cause for concern. Certainly is indicating exhaustion. Okay. 10 minute chart, the FTSE rejected at 6940. Okay. Uh, and now it's a test at this uh, key res, uh, support, key resistance equals uh, support level around the 6920 zone. So, it'll be interesting to see if the FTSE can hold that uh, zone. Okay, and these levels are actually in direct correlation with the levels on the US market. So when I do my US market analysis video, please do look at those levels uh, and it's quite important. And the key one obviously is a 2188 level on the S&P and the NASDAQ is around the 4812 level. Okay, given the potential breakout zones. Okay, so if you fail to get a breakout in the US and you are going to fail to get a... Uh, a breakout or a continuation a rally in the US European markets as well. So the FTSE potential double top 6940 to watch out for that or even a lower high. Okay, so again, watch out for the FTSE 100. Uh, 60 minute chart, like I said, certainly showing weakness. Daily chart as well showing weakness. So looking for a reversal, eh, folks? Okay, looking for a reversal. Now let's move on to the Euro stocks. Okie dokie, so let's go to the daily chart, the euro stocks, okay, and you're into that 200 MA, okay, so you've got horizontal resistance, and you're into that 200 MA as well on the euro stocks, certainly is holding, topping tail on the daily chart, so from my perspective, certainly is indicating weakness, the uh, 60 minute chart as well, you have this bullish engulfing candle on the back of obviously China uh, overnight, certainly has been rejected, as oil is being rejected as well, so looking for weakness, 10 minute chart as well, Showing weakness. Let's just go back to this 10-minute chart. Again, you have support at 3030 zone. You rejected the pivot R3 resistance and obviously RSI, uh, confirming weakness there as well. And again, from my perspective, again looking for a HNS formation from my perspective. Okay, so left shoulder here, head. Now looking for bearish consolidation here before we actually start to move lower and test that 34 zone. So again, indicating weakness, indicating a move lower. Currently testing this breakout here, so previous resistance equals support in these zones here, which is around the 3050, 3049 zone. If you fail to hold that, then again, we are going south, okay? So again, looking for risk off, okay, folks? Indicating weakness. Okay, I think that's a summation. In terms of economic data for the rest of the day, uh, really it's going to be focused on Empire State, housing market data from the US, and obviously the, uh, the actual price action in oil, given the Russian comments this morning. Uh, the Chinese uh, reaction as well, and also the reaction to the uh, the actual Nikkei, given the weakness in the GDP. Uh, again, given the fact that uh, late Friday on the US, we had concerns from retail sales, again, is going to hurt potential growth going forward. And how long can QE really uh, stop or could keep inflating these markets and given the light volume as well. So again, from my perspective, looking for exhaustion, and I'll do a US video market video shortly explaining the weakness in US markets. So please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that potential bonus. Goodbye now.